This is what I wanted to talk about. Don't let people use you. You are an owner operator with your LLC, right? I just talked about this in the last video, but I'm talking about it a little more in depth with this situation. Every time I've talked to either a partnership, a business, a customer, a broker, I'm talking to them like a normal person. I don't talk businessy. I'm not a businessman. I've always said that I'm a hustler. I'm different. Um, in my past life, I was a hustler. You know what I mean? So to me, the reason I'm bringing this up is you own a vehicle. And if they want to turn it into they own your vehicle, you know the vibe. Nope. I really quickly will cut that shit off. I'll let them know like, you know what I mean? I will. I'll be like, well, no, no. I, that's, I literally have talked to partnership deals or customers or brokers like that. I'll be like, hey, hey, this is my vehicle. I understand that we're working together right now with a business partnership, but that's not how it's going to work. You're going to ask me what I'm going to do because um, I'm a hustler and I do the things that are hard. The mental fortitude, if you guys have watched my over the road stuff, I did some crazy runs. Um, crazy runs. I'm not going to say how much I've driven, but here's what I'm saying. You need to like, when you're talking to these people, this is a co interview situation. This is a co for partnership. This is a co like, this is like, Hey, let's join forces. My LLC with your LLC. Um, and we're going to be homies. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to be like, cause I've heard of, I've heard nightmares from people. Where they're like, yeah, and then they said I had to do this, and then they made me sit here, and like, but that happens where you had to sit. But what I'm saying is, do not let them act like they are just so. You need to be so like, I don't know, for lack of a better term, on their nuts or like, no, no, you do not have to be their fucking bitch. I guess we could say that's the whole reason I did this was to be my own boss, to not be that way. You know what I mean? Because I was a hard worker at every job. Me and my wife were actually talking about that yesterday. Um, and that's what this situation, I would never let it turn into. Like, this is my van. I own this. And yeah, if you're getting me loads, I'm grateful. And I'm very appreciative. I always say I appreciate everything you're doing. I'm very appreciative. Very Minnesota nice. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but in turn, I went in. I've been like, no, 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 no. This ain't, you know. Nope. Nope. And that's why I'm saying, because I've had people who talk to me and go, man, this is going on, this is going on. And go tell them. I'll be like, I, you know, straight up. They'll be like, wait, just tell them what's up. I'm like, yes. Tell them you're not, no, that you're not vibing with that situation. They'll be like, really? But I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I'm like, who gives a shit? You're the owner. This is your LLC. You're the, you own that vehicle. You don't need to fucking, but don't do, I've heard people do people real dirty. Like, leave, like people who drive for somebody in their van, leaving it in the middle of the country. That's fucked up. But I guess I don't know the situation. So maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was worth it. But that's why too, you should stop it right then and there where, but that, that's a different scenario. If you're driving someone's vehicle, that's different. But I'm saying if you own your vehicle, Make sure people respect that. But don't be a dick. I'm not saying be a dick. I'm just saying, like, because you want to be a good business partner. But I just wanted to touch on that because sometimes I'll hear people venting to me about a certain situation. And I'm like, you own it. Like, anytime there's been even an inkling of, like, you know, um, what is that called? You know, there's no force dispatch and then there's... um. Which that's all I'll fuck with. If I, I have to get the choice, I'm not going to just accept loads. And that's the same with this local situation. I, you don't have to accept them. And same with uh, that over the road. But if there's any, um, not forced dispatch, but I call it um, obligation dispatch. Where it's almost like, oh yeah. Because like, they're acting like, oh, we get you loans. Because that's what I hear people pretty much talking about. It's like, no, that don't work for me. This ain't going to be, it, this is a business partnership and I'm cool as fuck. I'll do what I do. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. But just make sure when you're out there, be careful. Make sure people understand that you are the owner operator. This is your LLC. You're not just, you didn't start your business. And like I said before, you don't need to just be anyone's bitch. You bought a vehicle 
for the reason of freedom, most of you, because mo- some people will be like, oh, you talk about freedom. Yeah, because that's what most of us want. Most of us don't want a boss telling us what the fuck to do. Unless you did buy a vehicle to have a boss. I don't fucking know. And some people, it seems like that is what they do. And I'm not judging. That's cool. Whatever hustle you like. And I'll tell you what, I'm not fucking, that was not my point. And if anyone's wondering, yeah, with the vaping, me and my wife got 0.3 nicotine or 0.6 or something. And we were doing 60 millis before. And that's why I got chew because these are only 5.9 nicotine level. Um, I just do a couple of those a day and my wife's been quitting. So everything's going good on that. I know that's random, but I know some people talk to me about that one. We're on that journey. Um, but anyways, to get back to topic, you know me, squirrel brain. Ooh, and there are squirrels running all over here, so that doesn't help. But uh, just be careful out there. You are the owner-operator. You started your LLC. And if you don't like it, fuck them. Move on. Move on. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. We have merch if you want to buy it. If not, that's fine. Um, get that app upside Link in the description. That gas app is the shit. User friendly. I fucks with it. Everyone have a blessed day. And oh yeah. Keep hustling. Don't let people use you out there. You are an owner operator. Fuck them. I work hard. I get paid. Blue collar all day. I don't get tired. Like Kevin Gates. Sun up to sun down. I will always be this way. Redneck thuggy. I was country made. Blue collars in my veins. Blue collar to my grave.